Hey everyone, my name is Xavier and in this video we're going to take a look at how you can define interfaces in TypeScript. This is one of TypeScript's biggest advantages over regular JavaScript. So let's get going. So let's say we're writing an application that can draw shapes onto a screen. So we might have a function called uh, draw rectangle. And this function might take some options. And in these options, we kind of expect the width and the length of a rectangle. And so we can take it here, we can say the width is options.width and the length is options.length. And then after that, we uh, put our draw logic. So we're just gonna imagine that here, the draw lo logic goes there. Now I can call this function, I can say draw rectangle, and I'm gonna give it the required parameters. I'm gonna say with a width of 100 and a length 50. So, so far nothing new here. Um, we just pass along an object to our draw rectangle uh, function and then we expect it to draw the rectangle onto the screen. But there is a problem here. There is nothing in our code that checks if the width and the length are passed along. And also, if we use TypeScript, you don't get autocomplete for the available options. So if I remove length here and I ask TypeScript for suggestions, it doesn't really know what it can suggest me. So it just dumps out a bunch of stuff on my screen, hoping that it will be relevant, but it's nowhere near relevant. So instead, we can create an interface that will describe what should be in our options object. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go to the beginning here and I'm going to say interface and I'm going to call this interface rectangle options, rectangle options. There we go. I'm going to open up this interface and every rectangle should have a width, which should be of type number and it should have a length, which should also be of type number. And there you go, that's a very simple interface in TypeScript. Now I can say that my function draw rectangle takes a variable options and I can say that this parameter should be of type rectangle options. And now if I go to my call here and I remove length and now it will actually tell me, hey, you can fill in the length here and length should be of type number. So I can do just that length and then give it 50 again. So there we go, creating an interface is really simple. Now TypeScript also validates this interface. So here we call draw rectangle with an object that has a width and a length. But if I remove length and I try to run it, TypeScript will actually say that the property length is missing here. So that's a nice feature to avoid mistakes in the future. Now let's say that we now want to add more capabilities to our draw rectangle function. What if we not only want to draw 2D rectangles, but we also want 3D rectangles? Well, then we will need a height as well. So I can say here uh, in my interface that the rectangle options also include a height. And then I can access that height in my draw rectangle method. I can say height equals options dot height. And then my draw logic will decide whether it, it should draw a 2D rectangle or a 3D rectangle. But now there is an issue. Right here I'm calling draw rectangle with an object that has just two properties. It has width and length. And I expect draw rectangle to draw me a 2D rectangle. But if I hover over this, TypeScript says that it's also missing the height property. So height is actually an optional uh, property. If it's there, it should draw a 3D rectangle. And if it's not there, it should draw a 2D rectangle. To say that something is optional, in TypeScript you have to append the question mark. And if I say height question mark and then the type of the height, then this tells TypeScript that the height is optional. So it might be there, but it might also not be there. So now with my draw rectangle, it doesn't give me an error anymore because I only have width and length. No, right now it understands that height is an optional parameter. But I can always add it later on. So here I can say height equals 10. Now be careful with these interfaces. These interfaces can only be used when you're writing TypeScript code. When it runs in the browser or on Node.js, your interfaces aren't actually there anymore. So in this case, if I would try and draw a rectangle without a height 
and I use this line right here, it will throw an error because height is not defined in my options. So remember to put in some logic like this. So let's say if options dot height, if it's defined, then only then you can take the height and you can draw a 3D rectangle here. So that was it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how you can define classes in TypeScript. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.